Hi, I'm Alexander Adamov from Niagara Security Lab and I'm going to show a short tutorial on how to use Multega, Virus Total and Niagara Analysis System to uh, analyze targeted attacks. So typically targeted attack comes as a spare phish email. So here we can see an email that came to my mailbox and uh, it is written in Russian and it contains an attachment which is archive with .r extension. So first, uh, if it's not filtered by our email system, uh, we can save this attachment for uh, further analysis. Um, we can immediately upload it to Niagara Analysis System to uh, do some advanced analysis. Uh, to do that, we need to provide uh, email address, uh, file, which we want to analyze, and uh, choose our desired virtual machine instance. Then click Upload and we'll see uh, MD5 hash of the file that we can uh, refer later in Multega to visualize the analysis process. While the file is being analyzed in automated analysis system, we can proceed with our own manual investigation. To do that, first uh, let's extract the content of the archive. Uh, we can see that uh, JavaScript is inside, and if you open it in text editor, we will see that uh, this is uh, indeed JavaScript, but obfuscated. So we can't actually say what is inside and uh, what it can do. To analyze, uh, we should first to start uh, monitors, network sniffer, Wireshark, and the process monitor to see uh, any activity generated by this JavaScript. Then we just double click on JavaScript and execute it using a Microsoft Windows based script host. Immediately we see uh, the activity recorded by process monitor. To reduce the amount of information in the process monitor window, we can apply extra filter. For example, if we want to see uh, the created file by the JavaScript, so we can uh, specify operation equal to write file. And after a while, we'll see the list of uh, files created by the JavaScript. As you can see, uh, it downloaded the HTML file and also uh, created executable file uh, at the desktop. You can see it not right now. Then we switch to uh, network sniffer Wireshark to see the network activity. Let's start uh, with the first link. We open the uh, TCP stream and we see that the request was sent, but uh, the remote server didn't reply. The second link, uh, the second request was more successful. We can see a similar request to uh, another remote server. And it uh, resulted in downloading the file. Uh, I'm curious if uh, the attachment is detected by any antivirus. So if we had antivirus installed on our computer, would it detect it, this threat? I uh, specified the hash of the attachment and I see that only two antiviruses out of uh, 55 uh, detected the threat and one of them actually uh, has a precise detection, it's uh, malicious JavaScript. The second part of the tutorial is using Multego visualization tool to uh, show the analysis process and uh, uh, mind indicator of compromised and other analysis data. First, we create hash uh, of the attachment and run the machine, which is a collection of Python scripts running in the background to get the information about uh, uh, the running attack. We see two connections to two URLs and uh, uh, the uh, downloaded file represented by hash. Also, uh, two verdicts by uh, antiviruses were also presented here. Uh, we can run uh, more 
Python scripts to get information, who is information about this URL, to find out uh, who registered this domain, uh, the detection uh, ratio by virus total, as well as detection uh, verdict uh, from Niagarth. The same operation we can do for the second URL. And here we can see that uh, the second URL resulted in downloading uh, another file, which is HTML, represented by hash on the screen. Also, we can see virus total detection ratio and verdict by Niagara Analysis System, as well as IP address and uh, other with information related to this domain. Next, we can continue analysis uh, with the uh, installed file to extract the data from Niagara Analysis System report. And as we can see, the JavaScript installed the file, uh, which is uh, detected as malicious, which uh, installs user mode hooks, uh, uh, dropped the file, and uh, resulted in uh, detection by Yara rules. So we can see uh, several verdicts. One of them is Zeus family. So this big door belongs to Zeus family. It made two connections to remote URLs. Uh, one of them uh, is actually a CNC domain. And we can run analysis to get uh, who is information about this domain. So we can see that uh, the detection ratio of this domain by virus total, as well as IP address, location, uh, the person who registered this domain, and verdict by uh, Niagara system. Uh, if you need to get more details, uh, you can uh, copy the hash of the file and uh, request uh, the report from a uh, Niagara analysis system. So we uh, put uh, the hash and uh, run the search. Uh, we see that the backdoor dropped the file to application data folder. We can see the uh, uh, Yara rules triggered during analysis. One of them, as we said, uh, is uh, Trojan uh, Zeus bot. Then we can also uh, see how the backdoor injected the code to explore.exe. And this shows the strings extracted from the dumps. Uh, the anomalies page uh, shows user mode hooks set to the uh, Windows API functions. Uh, the network tab uh, shows the verdicts by Suricata intrusion detection system, emergency threat rule set. And network activity actually uh, specifies the command and control server. So we uh, showed you how easy it can be the analysis of targeted attacks using sandbox-based analysis system. And uh, if you want to get more information regarding this attack, you can go to our blog and read the post, or you can send uh, your question by email. Thank you for your attention.